actually keeping up with these every Sunday, surprisingly. I didn't want to set that expectation up and then fail, but so far so good. Uh, today we are actually creating Mary of Burgundy. I kind of wanted to set up a challenge for myself because the only real images we have of Mary of Burgundy, and this is meant to be Charles the Bolt's only daughter, but we have a painting and we also have her effigy, and of course these are both profiles. Or we have two paintings and effigy, and they're all profile. So we don't have like a straight on image of her. We have some other images that are said to be her, but I don't believe they were painted from life, and they're also very inconsistent with the actual portraits and the effigy. So I was inspired by the front facing ones that I could find, but it was mostly based on the profiles. So first I had to find like the right kind of pale but rosy cheek skin tone. I've got a lot of skins, so it's mostly just me fiddling around going which one is gonna be perfect. Which I don't think I actually end up keeping this one, but Yeah, this is probably the one I go with. And yeah, she was just, she had a very interesting face as well, and she also was at the center of some really complicated historical situations that arose after her death. She died very young, she was married to Emperor Maximilian I, and yeah, her death kind of kept some dynasties together, but they switched from, that's when like it moved from the Valois to the Habsburgs, I believe, and then it started like a whole thing. Yeah. Basically, it, it set in motion a lot of things when she died, and she died in an accident, basically. She was uh, hunting with falcons and was thrown from her horse, broke her back. Very sad. Like, I think she was like 25. But yeah, it set off quite a lot of historical events just as a result because of her death. And I thought she'd be fun to make, too. Like, so I like the challenge of I've only got profile images to work with, so how do I make it work? She also had a very, very long face, which was interesting, because I mean, I, do, I haven't seen a ton from her specific location and everything, but usually you see the long faces in like Elizabethan male portraits, and also, well, actually no, Edward IV had a long face portrait as well. I don't know, she had a very long face, which I thought was interesting. I mean, you also see it a lot more in, I almost said male characters, male individuals, because they were actual people, but... <laughs> she also had an interesting nose, and I was like, oh no, not another, not another nose struggle. Not another nose struggle! I don't have quite enough sliders to satisfy me for the noses. Overall, I was able to get a pretty good likeness to her. I'm not 100% crazy about how she turned out like, front-facing wise, just because I just didn't have enough to go on. And I also didn't have a slider that I could make her eyes, like her eyes are almost protruding a little bit in the images, like they stick out, but that would look really weird in The Sims. So I was like, all right, I have to temper that a little bit. But I do wish I had a bit of a couple more slider options just to make that happen. And her mouth was also really hard because mouths really like you need to see the front. Like it, it, it shapes the whole thing. So it was like trying to get it and then her eyebrows you can see like she's just got she's got a really long face. And then the really thin thin eyebrows. See, I'm just like, ooh, I don't like this front as much. The lip also was a little bit weird. It took me a while. I was able to fix it. You can see the shadow there is like odd currently. It makes it look like she has a cleft chin and she doesn't. And I was like, wait a minute, what is happening? How do I fix that? And then tucking in the corners a little bit kind of fixed it. I wanted to give her a little bit of a smile. Not too much, but... She did seem to be... pleasant enough. We don't know too much about her. Even her wiki page is kind of meh. It's always sad when you come across historical figures that, like, they themselves were not quote-unquote important, but, like, their death ended up being extremely important. 
like what is Franz Joseph II, his death started World War Two. I think it's him. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a World War Two knowledgeable person. Please don't come for me. But yeah, like her, in this case, Maria Burgundy's death is led to so many different things. I want to open up the Wikipedia page, but I'm also like scared it's gonna mess up my recording. I was reading about it last night, so like it's there, but like not as not as solid as it could be. I want to say Franco-English. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, the French ha Habsburg rivalry is what that led to for literal centuries. Because her marriage was like kind of supposed to fix things, which a lot of marriages were supposed to fix things, but didn't. But she inherited her lands very young. She actually had some kids that did, did survive. She had two children. Philip the Handsome and Margaret, who married Juan, the Prince of Asturias. Margaret the... Hold on, now I'm looking because I'm like, I think that this is... This, this is who I think it is. Because Margaret of Austria, the Duchess of Sibelway, Isn't that... That's probably why I should research before I do this, but hey, you're coming on a journey with me while I half remember things. And you watch me build a sim, that's what you're here for. Yeah, so she, <laughs> funnily enough, Margaret of Austria, who is Mary Burgundy's daughter, that's who Anne Boleyn went and stayed with as a maid of honor. I knew that I recognized that portrait. I knew it. So yeah, inadvertently, we're related to Anne Boleyn. Story-wise, not. I mean, probably relation-wise. Everybody's related to everybody at this point, but... Now I'm just looking at the birthday. I was saying 14, wasn't I? I meant 15. Please ignore me. I think her birthday's between Anne Boleyn's birthday's between 1501 and 1507. I was probably talking about that in a prior video, and someone's gonna correct me. I'm tired. Okay, I'm tired. I'm not a historian. I don't claim to know to know anything about anything. I just read a lot. It's a thing that's going around lately, like people arguing with actual historians because of what they've read on the internet. I'm like, who? Why? Why would you think that you know more than them? They've literally spent their entire scholarly life on this, like. You might have read some books, but you probably haven't seen the primary source materials there, buddy. I just think they're neat. Also, I did not have a Henan installed, so and I already knew that. I knew that I didn't have one and I didn't want to go find one, so I was like, am I just going to give her pretty flowy hair like she would get if she was on a modern TV show? Am I going to lean into that? I don't actually know what I end up giving her, though. I don't think I do flowy. I think I actually give her some sort of head covering. Headins are cool though. I just, I don't play in that particular era and I don't really like them and they clip a lot anyways, so I just don't have them in my game. I just don't have, I don't have the cone heads. I like some headins, that's, that's not true. I don't like the, the pointy cone ones that are like stereotypical princess headwear. Yeah, I really liked this hair, but I was like, are we really, are we really gonna be full on our hair blowing in the wind? And I couldn't do it, so I did a head covering. I think the head covering I used is actually from Sims Medieval. It's a conversion. You see, I kind of gave her eyebrows a little bit of a some asymmetry there, just because it did look like she had some. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, definitely leave comments thoughts, opinions. If you did enjoy the video, definitely give it a like. I'm trying to, I mentioned before now, I'm trying to get more involved with the whole analytics side of YouTube. I don't want to make this my job, but I would like to interact with as many people as I can because it's, it's fun and this is my hobby and I would like to share my hobby with people. So yeah, that said, I will see you guys in the next one.